Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a very large thrift haul. I have hard goods, I have clothing, I have a bunch of stuff to show you. Since I'm now selling on Mercari as well as Facebook Marketplace, I've been grabbing random items from the hard goods section as well as the clothing section. So, um, some of these things are not listed yet. Most of them are on Facebook Marketplace. I am probably gonna do another video later on about Facebook Marketplace and the safety precautions because some things are scaring me about it, but that'll be for another video. So I'm gonna go ahead and start showing you some of the clothes. I didn't get that many, so I'll go through these real quick. Nothing amazing, so if you just wanna see the hard goods, you can skip forward until that starts. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The first top I got, now this came from the Goodwill Retail, but it is this men's floral um hawaiian shirt it is by crazy clothes ltd and it's pretty cool it's really bright i think it will do really well right now if i go ahead and get it listed soon these came from the bins um it was very hot at the bins i have never dug through clothes wearing a mask before and i apologize if there's dust but there's a lot of dust they finally put clothes out at our bins they have not had clothes like piles of clothes they've had like maybe a bin with clothes um since the pandemic started so i was trying to find stuff but i was so overheated i was sweating i mean i had sweat coming from every part of my body um, it was pretty rough <laughs> and I don't think that I'm gonna be going back. I will not be digging through clothes anytime soon. Um, it was it was not fun. I can say that. It was not fun. So I grabbed a few things that stuck out to me and then I went next door to the retail center where it was much cooler because it gets hot in the bins because there's so many people in there and you're digging, you're burning a lot of energy and yeah. Anyway. All right, so the first thing I picked up was this Rotary Club of Livingstone Women's Extra Large Button-Up Shirt. So I'm not really sure what the Rotary Club is, but this is a shirt. I've seen this symbol before. I'm sure some of you probably know what it is. If you do, let me know in the comments. I can probably Google it later, but um, yeah, so it's this, I'm assuming this is vintage. So I thought that was interesting and I decided I would try it. It's got like a giraffe on it and then the Rotary International um, wheel thingy. I grabbed these loft, just loft, but they're pretty like a fl red floral slack. I got this for me. I don't even know what it is. Maybe I should look it up. I don't know. It is just a t-shirt that says do major attractions and then on the back it says concert 2014 so I don't know, it's a large it's a sleeping shirt all right so this is j jill this is i want to say this is silk it's a size 16 which is a great size um it feels like it's silk i didn't even pay attention whenever i was in the store i was just trying to grab and go um well I wonder, does it not have any tags at all? Well, it doesn't have tags apparently, but it feels like silk. I'm sure it is. It is just this pretty green dress. It's got like the netting on the, the lower layer, but try that out. This is just a bag that I found and I thought it was really cool. It didn't have any names on it. I don't know if maybe I missed it somewhere. I don't think I did. I mean, it kind of reminded me of something that you would get from like Urban Outfitters or somewhere like that. It's got suede straps. Um, I'll try to look one up online and see if I can find one on Poshmark similar to it. But it's like a beach bag, so. Nice little tote. I grabbed these. These are size small. Neff, N-E-F-F, -F, rubber ducky swim trunks for men. They will sell for about 25 bucks. Um, that's what the comps look like. All of them are about 25 bucks. I picked up another Carlisle blazer. I don't know why. 
mine just sit, but Carlisle is a pretty great brand and I can't even get rid of them. So here's the brand and it's just this women's blazer, nice little career style blazer. I found this sports bra, which is RPM and it says Le Meals Body Training System. So maybe somebody will want that. These are a pair of men's Levi's 501s. They're black button up. Um, these are 44, 32s. I've never sold sizes this large before, um, but they're in good shape. I need to wash these things and I'm throwing them on my sofa. Oh well. Um, everything lands on my sofa whenever I bring it home here lately. All right, so this is a Cheryl Teagues, size 14, denim jacket. And it's just a denim jacket. I believe it's vintage, but I could be wrong. Maybe 90s. I've heard of Cheryl Teagues. I don't remember if she was an actress or what. This says... Made in the USA, size 14, 100% cotton. I see some that says D slash 07, but I don't think that's the year. So I'll look it up and I'll put comps if I can find them down on, like I always do. So, all right, so these are a pair of Harachas. Is that what you call them? Um, these are Nine West, Blossom in Blossom, and they are just a pair of brown leather haraches size nine these are in really good condition i saw them yesterday when i was at the bins but i decided i would come back on half day and see if they're still there which they were and then i don't know i never heard of this brand i did not comp this brand i just felt it i looked at it and i said this has got to be worth money so this is mr and mrs Y-U-O, made in Italy. I'm going to laugh if it's not anything, but they're in great shape. They do need to be cleaned, obviously. Like the inner sole needs to be cleaned up. There's a little spot on the rim that needs to be cleaned. I mean, these are easy fixes. The bottom, of course, there's wear on the bottom. These are size 37s. It's got the made in Italy. It's got the leather soles. I guess that's leather. Yeah. So, I don't know. They're just a pair of black and white leather flats. Um, I will look that comp up and put it down here and fingers crossed that this is gonna be worth more than $15. <laughs> because here lately, that's been my luck with some of the things that I've picked up, which are really good brands, but it's just the style is just not sought after, so. Okay, and now two cheap things. We got a Fashion Nova um, jumpsuit. <laughs> just a jumpsuit Boop. and then this one is sheen and it's just a pretty maxi dress it's like a wrap dress I'll have to put it on my mannequin or my daughter or myself to photograph it um, depending on who it fits because I did not see a size oh it's an extra large so but this is the material, but it is a wrap dress, a long maxi dress, wrap dress. And it did say Sheen. Wait, it says, is it Sheen or is it Shein? Shein, Shine Out? I'm assuming this is Sheen or is it always been Shein? I don't even know. Anyway, so it's this pretty dress. Um, Okay, so that was it for the clothes. Now, everything, I spent $26 at the bins. That was 50% off, so my total would have been about 50 something. Now, this right here came from Goodwill yesterday. It is a creepy doll. This doll has seen better days. It is, the dress is a little dingy and stiff because it is old. This, the back of this doll says, Copyright or C, yeah, 1963 EEGEE -E -E Company. Um, I did look up comps of this and I would say about 19, 20 bucks maybe. Um, I need to clean her up some. 
As for the dress, I don't know if I should even bother trying to clean the dress. She is missing a shoe. Um, but she's got like the blinking eyes and I mean, I don't know. Is she creepy? I think she is. My lighting is on the side today, so everything is going to look very washed out probably. But yeah, so I grabbed her just to try her out. I have not listed her yet because I'm debating on what to do because the dress definitely is supposed to be white and not cream colored. So, um, oh, let's look at Mr. Owl. All right, so he has some damage, but I couldn't leave him behind. He could be repainted. I mean, if somebody had some brown paint, they could probably touch up some of these spots of um, chips. But this owl is a cookie jar and he's by the forest of California. Um, he has some little spots um, where the paint has chipped off or the ceramic has chipped off um, on the back and on the side as well. But he's still in working order. <laughs> But these have really, really, really good comps on like eBay and Mercari. Um, I think I listed him on Facebook Marketplace temporarily until I figure out what I want to do with him since he does have some damaged spots. Um, I'll probably just sell him as is and just make note of those things. Um, he obviously won't go for as much as the others are selling for on, you know, eBay, Etsy, Mercari. But, um, I paid $2 for him, so that was a pretty great deal. And yeah, I need to clean the inside out. It's a little dusty in there, but I thought he was really cute. He's a sleepy owl. All right, and the next item I picked up was an old ashtray. Now I have seen the prices of old ashtrays and they go for a good bit. This one has been repaired. Um, you can see the crack in this area right here where they repaired it. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you probably can. But on the back it says Calif, I guess for California. Um, but yeah, it's just like a cigarette holder. It does have some, you know, wear to it. There's some chips. But it was pretty interesting. So, you know, I might be able to get five, ten bucks out of it. Who knows? I picked up some um, coasters. These are like a, what is this? What do they call it? Like tortoise, like a tortoise coloring to it. And it is a set of six. Oh, my battery for my camera. All right, so I also bought this cassette tape. This is Disney cassette Snow White. I got this to test the karaoke machine that I had gotten the Goodwill bin. Uh, or the palette, um, but I'll probably turn around and sell this. I don't know if, what the comps are. I do better doing videos, and then while I'm editing my video, comping things then. It's so easy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so it's just a cassette tape for Snow White. And then I grabbed these for $2. It's a set of six. These are like votive candle holders, I believe, on the bottom. It just says made in Italy. And I did find the set on eBay for like 19 bucks. So it's nothing old. I think this is pretty new. Um, okay. All right, so that's it for that one. Um, this is just a flax top. It's not linen, just flax, like a scoop neck. I guess kind of like a tunic. And then this is just a size small, just a Disney Mickey Mouse shirt. And then these are J brand, um, what are they called? Love Story, is that the name of the pants? I don't know. Um, but it's, these are size 29s, J brand, and they are flare about flare leg is what it looks like. So um, I will pop those as well. I'll put that back in there so it doesn't get broke. I will put her back in here so my cats don't try to eat her. All 
All right, so the next piece was part of a globe. The globe was nowhere to be found. I didn't know it was part of a globe at the time either, but um, it's got like the astro astrological signs, the symbols and stuff on it. And I decided since I'm doing like a gallery type wall that it would look really good hanging on the wall, except for these two things right here kind of look tacky. So I don't know what I'll do there, but I'm gonna make it into a wall hanging. That's what my plan is for this. All right, so I've always wanted one of these, but every time I see them at Goodwill, they have like the part for the iPod to sit in and I don't have an iPod, but this one is a Bluetooth. It's the iHome, the Bluetooth version that connects to your phone. I have not tested it on my phone. I did plug it in and it does come on, um, but I guess I need to plug in my phone or set my phone up for Bluetooth with this. And I'm gonna see how it does. I'm gonna try it out tonight. So this was $4.94. All right, so this came from the bins. This is an umbrella and it does look old, but I guess I'll show you like the wood on it. I mean, this could very well just be a replica. I don't know, but it is a umbrella. Is it bad luck to open a paper umbrella in the house? I don't know, but it's got like this floral, um, coloring on it. It does have a little tiny, tiny hole in the paper, but I tried to put it down. So I might try to like fix that with some glue or something. I don't know, but it has like a beautiful butterfly on it. I don't know if you can really see it. My lighting sucks, but yeah, so it's just a pretty umbrella it does have string like it had a, a price tag on it it does have a string on it so i don't know i will research and maybe i'll find this exact same one maybe it's just a replica regardless it was at the bins so so this is a valentina um messenger bag it does have damage and i'm keeping it for myself because i don't mind a little damage um, so this is the label, if you can see it, Valentina. Um, I'm not sure the name of this bag. Inside of it is good and great condition. The stitching is on point. There's no discrepancies that I see. Like, you know how whenever it's fake, sometimes you'll have like a little tiny stitch and then a long stitch. There's nothing like that. It's all the same all the way around. Um, however, the, the zipper is in need of repair and it's missing the two little studs in the front that this hooks onto but i don't care about that i think it's nice the leather feels amazing and i'm gonna keep it for me um i mean it could be fake too i really don't know it could just be a really good fake but it does not feel fake it feels very very real um but i'm not familiar with valentina so i don't know it's not like it's valentino is it Valentino? I don't know. So I will try to find comps for this, but I'm not gonna sell it. So um, it definitely needs a little bit of repair. But somebody had thrown it back up at the front of the bins and I grabbed it. I bought some games. So the first one was Mousetrap. I don't know if you remember this game, but Maybe that'll ring a bell. This was the best game ever. It had like a little silver ball and I love this game. My cousins had this game. We did not. We were only allowed to play it on certain times. Like when we'd have like game night and stuff like that. Family home evening. I was raised Mormon and we had family home evenings every Monday night. And that's when we would do stuff like this. Um, I don't know. I think we may have played a couple times after school. My aunt had a daycare in her house. So... Um, but yeah, this was one of the games that I loved. Love this game. I don't know if I'm going to sell it or if I'm just going to keep it and let my kid play it because she's still young enough to appreciate a good game. <laughs> so we'll see. I got Operation. Um, I just sold an Operation game on Marketplace for like five bucks. Um, I got it in one of the, the pallets that I got. Um, but I decided I'd try it with my daughter and we played it tonight. It's pretty boring, really nothing to it. So um, I think it's more for little little kids. 
um, because me and her were pretty good with not touching the edges. So I'll probably end up selling this for like five bucks, something like that. Then I saw this game. It's called Bed Bugs. I don't remember this game at all. Um, yeah, now that I think about it, I think I do. Once I saw his face, I, I do remember this. Um, it does have, take C batteries. The batteries obviously do not work. I don't have C batteries to test it, so I won't be able to sell it unless I can test the batteries first to make sure it works. So this will probably just sit around with our games for a while until I can get around to getting some cheap C batteries to try it out. And then I got this at the bins. So this is the Catmate C50. They sell these on Amazon still. They're all of them are about over $80. Um, I think Walmart had one for 40 or something through one of their um, vendors that they have selling on their site. Um, I don't think this one's ever been used. From what I could tell, yeah, I don't even think this box has been opened, but I'll just kind of show you. It's It looks new. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna sell it. My boyfriend said, no, we're not using that with our cats because we have two cats and it would be extremely difficult to have them both eat out of this thing um the rating the reviews are kind of all over the place okay mom i will talk to you in a minute she'll watch this video and be like oh that horrible child of mine anyway um so <laughs> catmate c50 i will probably throw this on mercari or um, facebook marketplace something like that and i obviously will say the box is not in good condition because it's kind of dented but it's never been used it's brand new um so yeah i will be throwing it online i guess i might test it first just to be 100 percent sure because i don't want to sell somebody something saying it's new and it actually just looks new so yeah all right so the next item that i picked up was at goodwill and it is this Automatic Makeup Brush Cleaner by EcoBloom Spa. $3.94, never been opened. I think I saw, who did I see use this? Um, there was a, a YouTuber who did a review on something similar to this. I forget her name. The, the, the redheaded girl with the really pretty, pretty blue eyes. Bunny, that's the one, Bunny. So I forget her, her channel's name but anyway. I think she, it may not have been this exact one, but it was similar to this. She did a review on it and actually worked. So I don't know, I might use it or I might just sell it. I don't know. I don't use makeup brushes that often. I really, at my age, I just don't care anymore. I'm 39, you know, I wear makeup when I go out places, but very minimal. <laughs> so this will probably be for somebody who uses brushes a lot, so. But yeah, I will make a decision soon. I guess it depends on what the comps are. If the comps are like pretty low, then I'll probably just keep it for myself. I grabbed this from the bins just because um, this is a Philips. It is a, where, where is it? Oh, on the portable LCD screen. It goes on the back of a seat in the car. It doesn't have any cords with it. It had nothing with it. So I'm pretty good for that. I always grab stuff that doesn't have cords and I'm like, I'll test it out later. So I have to get cords for this, but I don't even know if it's worth it. I might just keep it for myself to have in the backseat of our car. I don't know. I mean, what can I put in it? I don't even know how you hook anything into it, like a DVD player. I don't even know. I'll have to research this, but yeah, so I grabbed that. And this I got from his house for two bucks. It is in the box. And it is a Super 8 movie camera, which is so cool. This is from, I don't know, maybe the 70s, I'm thinking, 60s, 70s, something like that. So it's just an old movie camera. It does have a Super 8 tape inside of it. I don't know how that would be developed. Who knows what's on it? I have no idea. So I don't even know how to I don't, I don't know anything about it. I don't know if there's batteries in here. I'm assuming so. I really don't know. So, but that was pretty cool. I might sell it. Well, obviously I'm going to sell it, but not for a lot because I don't think they go for a lot, but we'll see. 
And it still has like a little what to do when the projector lamp goes out, little thing in here. What does this say? Okay. It's a little funny thing. Anyway, and it says where it was bought, which was at Kmart in Columbia, which is actually no longer there. All right. And I got two more things to show you. I say, I'm saving the best thing for last. This is just a light bright. Um, it's got extra pieces in it and it says create with light. So that's pretty neat. And the last thing, let me go get, let me go get her. All right, so I was at the bins and I just happened to see this and I knew what it was. And I was like, why would it be at the bins? These are relatively new, but I decided to grab it anyway. No cords, nothing, but it is a Yuffie, which is like a robot, like a Roomba type of thing. Um, it works. Oh. Anyway, it works when it's on the floor. <laughs> My mom took it home and she um, charged it because I didn't have a charging cable for it. And it didn't have these little spinny things right here, these little brushes. She had extras because she actually just bought one of these not long ago. I think hers is a little bit newer. This is the Robo back 11. Um, these ones have a very, very, very good retail price. I'm not selling it, I'm keeping it. I have tile floors here in the living room, hardwood floors throughout the house. Um, so this will come in handy because let me tell you, when you have cats, the hair, the fur gets under the beds, under the sofa, and I don't like to move furniture every day to sweep. I don't even like to move furniture every month and sweep. So this does the trick. Um, I just ordered charging cables and stuff for it. But yeah, it works great. Um, at first I didn't think it was getting stuff because I saw it was like kind of spitting it across the room, but then it would go back over it a couple times and it would pick it up. So apparently that's what it does. But this was my best find, honestly. I probably should have dug through that bin looking for the cords, but I had no idea what I was looking for. Anyway, so that was everything that I got uh, the last three days of thrifting. Um, I have to say that our yard sale was extremely successful for us. I think we made close to $400 um, Friday and Saturday. I probably could have done a better job of um, advertising it, but I did it last minute, which was probably dumb on my part, but I was hoping we would wait a couple more weeks to do it. Um, but we did have a lot of junk, but a lot of that junk is gone. I actually, at the end, I posted everything for free and somebody came and picked everything up. So then I went and bought another pallet <laughs> and then I went back and bought another pallet. So now my garage is full again. So I'm probably gonna have another yard sale and the weekend after next because I work this weekend. So next weekend I will probably have one. But yeah, so that was everything. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.